Hello everybody, welcome to another session of current catch and in this session we are going to discuss briefly another important issue and which can be asked in mains examination or preliminary examination as well as other competitive examination and that is the issue of what issue of nanoplastics. Now when we talk about mismanaged plastics, mismanaged plastic can be divided into three categories broadly. Macroplastic which would be having a diameter of more than 200 mm, mesoplastic which has a diameter between 4.75 to 200 mm and microplastic which is having a diameter of less than 4.75 mm. Microplastic is also referred to as what? It is also referred to as plastic beads. So, it would be called as what? It would be called as plastic beads. Microplastic is also called as what? It is also called as microbeads. There is a concern that in environment, microplastics are spread on a large scale. And the concern is more why? Because a report from Canada suggested that this is also present in human blood. But more detrimental than microplastic is another form of plastic which is a growing concern today and that is called as nanoplastic. So when we talk about nanoplastic, nanoplastic has a size of less than 100 nanometers. So we are saying that nanoplastic has a size of less than 100 nanometers and both microplastic and nanoplastics are concerned but nanoplastic is more of a concern as far as the recent times is concerned. The irony is what? That the studies over the last decade, now these studies were concentrated only on the study of plastic in the aquatic ecosystem. But it has been recently found that, that plastic waste are more present in the terrestrial ecosystem. So we should confine our study to terrestrial ecosystem rather than aquatic ecosystem as such. Now nanoplastics can be directly present in the environment or they would be generated. Now they can be directly present in the environment through <coughs> the water pipes. They can be directly present in the environment through industrial effluents. They can be directly present in the environment not only through this only but also through biosolids. Biosolids are the substrate which is generated uh, in the sewage treatment plants which can be used as manure in the field. So all these would be the sources of nanoplastic in the environment. But nanoplastic also would be produced due to de disintegration and degradation of plastic products. Disintegration and degradation of plastic products are responsible for producing either microplastic or nanoplastic. Nanoplastic is a concern. And nanoplastic is a concern why? Because uh, it is responsible for affecting soil health, soil fertility would be affected. It is not only responsible for affecting soil health but also human health and it is penetrating in the vegetation that we grow today and these are the issues which are related to nanoplastic. Now nanoplastic has a detrimental impact on rhizosphere. Rhizosphere is the soil which is surrounding the plants. So that is called as the rhizosphere and we can see that nanoplastic would be responsible for adsorption. Adsorption means that uh, due to the forces of adhesion, if these particles assemble near the surface of any medium, so that would be called as adsorption. So it's not only responsible for absorption, but also responsible for adsorption. And adsorption of nanoplastic is taking place where? It is taking place on the root hairs of the vegetation. So it can easily enter what? It can easily enter the root tissues and from the root tissues it can enter the plants also, the vegetation also that we are responsible for cultivating. This is a growing concern, not only because of this, but also that it would be responsible for forming compounds and these compounds would be formed when nanoplastic would be combining with the natural organic matter. It is responsible for also the death of soil animals. So soil animals can be what? Soil animals can be nematodes. It can be earthworms, it can be protozoans. So all these would be killed because of nanoplastic which is present in the soil. So that's our concern related to nanoplastic. Now the time is imperative 
that not only we are responsible for studying the biochemical cycles, but we should be also responsible for studying the plastic cycle as such. Plastic cycle as such. So, plastic is a concern, plastic is a hazard, but one concern related to this is nanoplastic, which we have discussed briefly. Thank you so much.